Hi, I'm Andrilisium, and let's see what's in point 22 KSP. For a start, when you load in, you'll notice there's a career mode button. This is the new science mode, it isn't full career mode yet. And when you load in, you'll see, obviously, this beautiful new building, which is the research center. It is gorgeous. Now, this is where your tech tree will live. So if you look at the tech tree here, you can see it's the beginning tech tree. We've only got the one unlocked, but you can get five science to unlock the next one. Now, to get science, you have to go on missions. So your first mission, of course, is going to be pretty short. You're going to be pretty much at the launch pad. But you can do stuff like crew reports from inside the module. You can do an EVA report while you're on EVA. And you can do some sample collecting while you're on EVA. Now, when you've done this, you'll collect the science. You can go to mission control and you can recover the craft. This will give you the science from the craft. Then you can do your next mission after you unlock some more parts. And this time you'll be able to go further because you've got more parts. So you go to different biomes. So you go to the highlands or you go to the water and you get to more science there. And eventually you'll unlock enough parts that you can get to orbit. You can do science up there and then return your craft. Or you can make a probe. You can put antennas on it because now comms units actually have a function. So instead of having to return your unit to Kerbin and have to collect it manually using the mission control, you can transmit the science by using the comms unit and just having a load of power in the batteries and so on. This does only net you a percentage of the full science, however. Now this is really cool. And of course you get more science if you go to, say, the moon, or if you go to Minmus, or if you go to Juna, than if you do if you stay at home. Now, of course, there's another system as well, which is the new sub-assembly system. Now, there was a mod for this before, but now it's actually in vanilla. You can save your launchers and you can reuse them. So instead of having to build the same launch vehicle every time, you can just reuse the old one. You can work, It works in the space plane hangar, it works in the VAB. And you can actually transfer stuff from the space plane hangar to the VAB. The new update gives you objectives and a variety of different ways in which you can go about choosing to do which objectives and how to get there to get the new science. It's an amazing update and I encourage everyone to play it as soon as possible. Stay shiny everybody!